Okay, um, welcome back to the channel, everybody. As you know, I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. You know, these books wouldn't exist if not for my good friend and mentor, Mr. David Farland, who also wrote some books under the name Dave Wolverton. Um, I'm making this video today because David has suffered a tragic accident, likely will not survive. Um, and I never did get to um, talk about his books on my channel that much. And I regret that now because he probably won't be able to ever even see this video. Let's hope he recovers and does, but it does not look good. Um, I first met Dave Farland... His real name is Dave Wolverton. He, like I said, he writes under both his real name Wolverton and his pseudonym Farland. I first met Dave. Um, he was the judge for the Writers of the Future contest. And some of you have seen the Writers of the Future books. There's, you know, I was in volume number nine back when I was a college student. This was when I met Dave. He was the main judge for the Writers of the Future contest for decades. One of the things I'm going to talk about about Dave is he has mentored more writers, successful, published, world-famous writers. He has mentored them, tutored them, taught them more, more than any other human being alive. Dave has mentored more writers than any of them. Any of them. His great talent was not just writing, but teaching others the craft of writing. That's where he excelled. He did it with the Writers of the Future contest. He did it. He formed, he helped form the Superstars of Writing Conference with Kevin J. Anderson, Brandon Sanderson, James Owens, Jim Butcher. I've been to that conference. It is one of the, it's actually the greatest writing conference on the planet for young writers. That conference, the Superstars of Writing Conference, has also produced a lot of famous science fiction and fantasy authors, just like Writers of the Future. If you want to know how many people Dave Farland has influenced writing-wise, just go to the Barnes & Noble and look at all of the books there, and Dave has had a hand in 90% of those people's careers. That's how vast his influence really, truly, honestly was, and that's not hyperbole. This is the truth. And he mentored me specifically from a young age. Back when I was a college student and I was in the Writers of the Future, that's where I first got to meet him. This was in the mid-1990s. He has been a friend and mentor to me ever since. Not only that, he lives near me. He lives in Utah. I had dinners at his house. We went to dinner together. We've flown to conventions together, comic cons. We've stayed. We've shared hotel rooms with other authors. I mean, we, Dave Farland, and, and I'm, not, I'm not just speaking alone. Most every writer out there has had the same experiences with Dave that I have. He has just mentored so many people along the way. And I'm going to mention some of the names. Brandon Sanderson. Stephanie Meyer of Twilight, J.K. Rowling of the Harry Potter. The list goes on and on. James Dashner of the Maze Runner, Brandon Mole, Dan Wells, Ryan McClellan. Um, every just I think every single Pat Rothfuss, every single writer that's been through the Writers of the Future, Dave has mentored them, and they have all went on to have great careers in this business, all because of Dave's magic touch. He also taught creative writing at, at BYU. That's where he helped Stephanie Meyer. That's where he helped Brandon Sanderson. That's where he helped a lot of the young writers in the state of Utah that went on to great success. Like the guy, the, the Dashner that wrote, wrote The Maze Runner and all of these people. All of the young adult authors that have come up, like Ali Condi, and uh, just so many, I could keep naming names. And me too. And me too. Um, 
And I just wished I could have talked more about his books on the channel previous because he's meant so much to me over the years. When I first got my publishing contract with Simon & Schuster, he was, he was literally the first person I let know. Because he had followed my struggles as an up-and-coming writer. He had seen the struggles that I'd been through. He had seen the struggles that Brandon Sanderson had been through. He had seen the struggles that we've all been through. And he's been there and had our back every step of the way. If you have not read The Rune Lords, I've got some of them up here. Of course, you probably all recognize The Courtship of Princess Leah, which he wrote under his real name, Dave Wolverton. He signed all of the books I've ever... He signed every single book that I've ever purchased of his. The Rune Lords series, like I said... um, He always personalized every book that he, he signed to me. Uh, he was a great friend, a great mentor. Most everything that I learned about navigating the publishing business, from how hard it is to write a book, how much work and effort you have to put into it, how much daily grind you got to put into it, how dedicated you got to be to the craft, all of that up to how to get an agent, how to approach agents, how to act like a professional when you're at conferences, when you're at Comic-Cons, how to treat your fans, how to treat other writers, how not to be a dick to people, how to just be a good person and do and say the right thing and be just just help promote each other in this business. He, everything that I learned, how to, once you've signed your book contract, he kind of walked me through what I needed to look for next. These are the things your editor's gonna want. These are the things that you got to do. This is your next step. This is where you got to get an, an accountant. This is where you got to do this. This is the step next. I mean, everything. He just sat me down various times throughout my career and taught me these things of the goodness of his heart. And he did that for everybody that I've mentioned. He is truly a legend in the field. And he will be missed. Um, so I wanted to make that video in honor of my good, good friend and mentor, someone who I don't know if I'll ever see him again. And that is a tragedy. Um, so if you can go out right now, if you've watched this video to this point, just go out, purchase one of Dave Farland's books, whether it's the Star Wars book, whether it's his Rune Lords, just anything he's done. And, uh, you know, as you're reading it, just know that you're reading the works of one of the greatest teachers of writing that has ever lived. Probably the greatest. Most definitely the most influential within our field, without a doubt. The amount of people that he has sprinkled his wisdom upon is so numerous it's mind-blowing mind-blowing everybody in the business knows dave everybody respects dave everybody knows the good that he did and the help that he gave and he gave it all so unselfishly and he set up writers of the future and superstars of writing i just i could go on and on about how awesome this guy is but anyway i just wanted to make that short video for my good friend and mentor, Mr. David Farland, a.k.a. Dave Wolverton, may we someday see each other again.